Thank you. Well, thank you for joining us here. It's such a wonderful day. I, I can't tell you how many times I've appeared before so many of you, so many public and political agencies, funding sources, to talk about the vision that Linda and I had for this property. And the vision started so many years ago, eight or nine, I think. I'm tired of telling people and losing track, actually. But Linda and I met on the site, Cape and Court, right next door. And we talked about the commonality of, in commonality of interest that we had, where our residents living in an old substandard housing unit right next door could live independently. But they really needed to make use of some of the supportive services that were available in the beautiful facility Linda had already constructed down on Lowell Street. And Linda needed additional units to provide ass assisted living, fully assisted living. So we talked about merging this partnership where we would connect two buildings in this campus-like environment and our residents would continue to live independently but would be able to walk through a bridge any time of the year and come over to this beautiful facility and take advantage of the numerous services that the VNA provides. So it's taken a long, long time and this is just a great day and it's really Linda's day. We have 14 months before we're ready to open up. But Congratulations, Linda, you've done a tremendous job, and it's absolutely beautiful. You know, when Father mentioned to me, you must get tired of doing a lot of these events. It must be difficult, and I, I was thinking, and I said, well, these are actually fulfilling. When you think about the complexity as referred to by Ron and Joe Macaluso, and you see the different interests, uh, politically, private, different financial interests pitching in for a very important cause, and that's to provide a particular continuum of quality of life for our most vulnerable populations. It's a very fulfilling day. And this has been a complex project, and there's a lot of history to it, if you think of this site. And we're really excited about what this campus will be. It will be the most unique of its kind in the country, we're happening right here in Somerville. I want to say kudos to Bob Train. This has been a complex process. We had to dispose of this property. The city did. It was a school site. A school building sat here the old Conwell School. Uh, the city needed to, had no short or long-term use for the building or the site. We needed to dispose of it to, number one, get the revenues to pay debt service, and secondly, hopefully get some monies on the tax roll. And for a good use, there was a low impact and a high uh, good for the neighborhood. Now, that's not always easy in the most densely populated city in New England. Uh, you have to deal with a lot of concerns, traffic, parking, impacts on your embodies, and Bob Train led a complicated process of a committee that analyzed all the proposals here that came before us. We had some good ones. And to deal with the personalities. Again, Bob, I want to say thank you for your leadership and to the Board of Aldermen for voting to move this forward. That was critical. Absolutely critical. And again, we went with this project because of the benefits, not just the financial bottom line, because there's a lot of bottom lines. The overall bottom line to the most vulnerable populations in our community in our region. And, and it makes a lot of sense. We're excited it's happening right here. And that Somerville, again, as a model for affordable housing. First of all, for those of you who have already moved in and for those of you who are going to move in, save me one apartment. <laughs> I got a few more years, but believe me, I, I, I can't tell you how important and how fulfilling it is to see the VNA and the Housing Authority partner on this for another wonderful asset for this city and for the people of this city. Uh, the one that we did on Lowell Street is fantastic and it has worked out beyond all means except of course for the uh, loud music that comes out all the time those parties on friday night are just a little too loud <laughs> every time i've ever been able to help the vna it's been a pleasure to me and the result has been fantastic this is another example the team that's been put together for this is as good as any i have ever seen on any project i think the results speak for themselves I want to congratulate everybody who's made this happen. I want to thank you all for coming today. The Visiting Nurses Association has created something exemplary just because it's assisted living. I mean, even that is not done very well in many places so consistently. The mayor mentioned before the first project's 10 years old, and now this one comes along. Um, to, then to be able to partner 
with the housing authority in order to do the project next door and create some linkages to demolish the 64 units of obsolete housing and to redevelop all of that and bring a modern four-story building uh, uh, to Somerville, which is coming. Um, we're incredibly excited about all of that. Um, this project, as I said, represents the first of a kind that takes advantage of that low-income housing tax credit and tax-exempt bond financing set aside and leverages our state capital dollars to bring in private and other government resources to revitalize vastly needed public housing. In sum, through this newly minted public housing mixed finance program, we're able to advance a $26 million project while investing only $6.5 million in our, public, our state public housing dollars. The state contributed about a million in federal home funds, and the city also put in their local home funds. So it, it is a very compelling, uh, powerful partnership indeed. Uh, this project is integral to the Patrick Murray administration's approach to public housing revitalization, one where state dollars and expertise are partnered with local housing authorities and other levels of government and the private sector to preserve and restore what is uniquely Massachusetts. This is good news, and I'm so glad to be here to share it with you. We in the delegation are very, very proud that Somerville is leading the way again, thanks to Linda and Joe and so many other people who I will not continue to mention, but thanks to all of you for doing this work. We are hoping that other communities will follow through because the second way I'm here is not just as a member of the delegation, but as chair of elder affairs. And I am so conscious of the fact that the fastest growing part of our population in Massachusetts is over 85. So this is a group of people who will need options and that's why I've pushed to have, which is finally meeting, uh, Committee on Long-Term Care Financing. Uh, and we need not just, we need more and more to have a range, a spectrum of ways for people to live and get care. We need to be able to put your tax dollars at work, to work in places like this. Recognize that both the direct funding and the tax credits cost the Commonwealth money and I think it's a really good investment. I just can't get over uh, how short a time it's been since we opened the first place 10 years ago. I mean, you know, isn't it amazing? None of us have changed. <laughs> <laughs> the only difference now is that we're all eligible to be living here. <laughs> we knew back then, after we filled in six months, that we would have to build another place just like it. And then when Joe Macaluso and his board approached the VNA to do something completely different, which is to combine both uh, senior housing and public housing with the visiting nurses assisted living complex model, um, we knew it had to be done. And it couldn't have been done without every single person in this room, without every uh, person sitting up here without all the complex funding that we did. This saying, blessing, was given to me by one of the first residents at the first VNA assisted living community. Her name is Virginia Duffy, and before she came to us, she didn't have a home. She handed this to me when she saw that we were having our grand opening today. If you would read with me, I'd really appreciate it. In this house, all must be friends, all must be loved, all must be held dear, all must be held. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you. 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 Thank you.